Hey there, this is Vinit from Bioinformatica. In this video, we are going to learn how we can install Ubuntu in our computer, both at single boot and dual boot systems, in a few simple steps. So, without further ado, let's get started. Basically, Ubuntu is an open source Linux distribution sponsored and distributed by Canonical. It is an user-friendly, secure and powerful OS with a huge support community. Ubuntu equipped with the latest Linux kernel and drivers which makes it possible to use Ubuntu almost in any device efficiently. Now, let us know how we can easily install Ubuntu in our system. First of all, we will need a flash drive or pen drive to make a bootable drive. Any pen drive of more than 4 GB of storage capacity works perfectly. And it is also good to use a USB 3.0 pen drive to minimize the chances of any error. After that, we will also need a computer in which we are going to install the Ubuntu OS. Ubuntu is a very versatile and low resource demanding OS. But it works with 2 GHz dual core processor or above. 4 GB or more RAM and it will also need a 25 GB of storage space. It is not necessary to have an internet connection during installation, but it is always good to have one. By the way, the installation process works perfectly fine without an internet connection. For creating a bootable flash drive, we need to download two files. The first is the program which will make the pen drive bootable and another one is the Ubuntu ISO file itself. We are going to use a software called Rufus or the reliable USB formatting utility software to make a bootable flash drive. You can find the Google Drive link to the software in the description box below. The second file is the Ubuntu ISO file. These ISO files are provided by Canonical. Ubuntu releases an update in every 6 months and one LTS version in every 2 years. It is wise to install the LTS or the long term support version for a stable user experience. Most commonly used LTS versions are 16.04, 18.04 and the latest one that is 20.04. You can download the ISO file from the Ubuntu websites. A link to which is also provided in the description box below. It is a large file so it may take some time to download depending on your internet speed. After the completion of download, we can now create a bootable pen drive. First connect your pen drive into the computer or laptop. It is advised to make a backup of your pen drive data before making it bootable as the process is going to delete all the data permanently from the pen drive. After connecting the pen drive to the computer, start the Rufus program that you have downloaded. Grant the permission to modify the pen drive. Make sure that your pen drive name is in the device name. Now select the ISO file that you have downloaded by clicking in the select button. After selecting the ISO file, hit start and wait for its completion. After completion, close the program and restart your computer. Now we will install Ubuntu in your device from the bootable pen drive that you have just made. For this, we have to go to the boot menu of your device. You can go to the boot menu by pressing specific key in the start screen of the device. Different manufacturers assign different keys to the boot menu. The most common are F9, F10 and F12. Some manufacturers even use F2 and escape keys for the same purpose. In most of the cases, the key is mentioned in the start screen itself. In the boot menu, you can use the navigation or arrow keys to navigate between the options and use enter key to select and escape key to go back. In our case, in the boot menu, we have to select our pen drive for booting. Now Ubuntu should start and you may get a screen like this. From here, select your desired language and hit try or install Ubuntu. When installing Ubuntu, 
you will get a screen like this after that we have to choose the preferred keyboard layout choose your layout and hit continue after that in this section choose the normal installation here in this section if you have a good internet connection check both download updates and install third-party software options otherwise just uncheck both of these options it will work perfectly fine after that hit continue now here we reach to the section where we have to choose whether we want to make our system a single boot that is ubuntu only or make it dual boot that is ubuntu alongside a windows operating system if you want a dual boot system use install ubuntu alongside windows option and for single boot choose erase disk and install ubuntu option then hit install now it will show a warning it's okay just hit continue now select your time zone and location and press continue the final step is to provide name pc name username and password after providing those just hit continue it will take some time to complete the installation process after the completion you will get a window like this hit restart now and it will restart your computer remove the bootable pen drive from the computer after restarting you can format the bootable pen drive to revert it back to the normal state hope you have successfully installed ubuntu in your computer please let us know if you face any problem regarding installation make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel and as always thanks for watching